from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 431 for Thursday, March 17th, 2022. This week we have banter, news updates, my ink of the week, new pens from Penlux, Twisby, and Monteverde, a new ink from Schaefer, a contest winner, a new contest, plus items from Sailor, Pelican, and Ido Shizuku that are coming soon. Hey, Eric. What's that, Brian? Why does the chicken go to the gym? Why? To work on his pecs. (laughs) Okay. Animals. Uh, what do you call a bee that can't make up its mind? Uh, I don't know. what. A maybe. Yep. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy. That's today. Absolutely. That's today. Great. I made a note. I learned something about St. Patrick's Day. I'm glad I'm wearing Day. green. <laughs> Me too. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in more countries than any other national festival. I had no idea. Did you know that? No, I had no idea. Uh, no. So today's the day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Great. I should mention the location bumper today. We've been showing location snippets throughout Appleton, as you're aware. Yep. yep. Uh, but I'm not sure that people know how they, how they can get here. We have the Appleton this is the International. Best way, best way to yeah, get here. Appleton International Airport, which is an airport I love. It is flown a fantastic. It, flown it many times. It's a fantastic airport. Yeah. Uh, eight gates, and all of them are cozy. I don't eight. Know, I thought it was seven. They don't need eight. We, they must have got a new one. The friendliest TSA agents I've ever met. They always talk to me about my pens when I go through there. Um, two whole, two whole baggage carousels. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. They have valet parking where you just go up, park, go inside and give somebody your keys, and then they'll have your keys waiting for you when you get That's back. That's fantastic. Yeah. All the major car rentals. They have many direct flights. I had to look this up because I, okay. I thought there were a few, but I didn't know there were 13 direct flights, no matter where you are in the country. Uh, Atlanta, Charlotte, Chicago, Denver, Detroit, Las Vegas, Minneapolis, Nashville, Phoenix, Punta Gorda, Florida, Sanford, Savannah, and St. Petersburg. I imagine that's the one in Florida. Yes. 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 Um, Punta Gorda. That's a... Wherever wherever you are, you can get here direct or with one stop because everybody flies to Chicago. Yes. Or Atlanta or... Yeah. 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 Uh, but very nice airport. Mm-hmm. My favorite, and I've been to many. Yeah, it's not, no, it's never overpacked. You know, it's we, never we, packed. We, we joke, never it's, packed. it's eight gates, no waiting, so. And they don't even need eight. Yeah. Anyway, that's where you go. Appleton International Airport, which is right down the road. It it's is. on the street. It Literally leads right to it. Yep. yep. It ends at the airport. It ends at the airport. I wanted to mention Chicago, Anderson Penn Chicago, and the two-day in-store nib customization and pen repair Ooh. event that is coming up. I'm so excited. At the end of this month and beginning of next month yes. because it kind of straddles that weekend. It is Saturday, <clears throat> April 30th. Last week we said it was only Saturday, April 30th. This has changed. Yes, it has changed. So it's now a two-day you know, event. Lisa has uh, spoken with Linda and uh, Mike, and they're going to roll it over since they're, they're staying that night anyway. Okay. They're going to roll it over to uh, Sunday for a few hours. Right. I've got Saturday, April 30th from 9.30 to 5, and mm. Sunday, May 1st from 10 to 2. So we'll actually be open early that day. Right. And you'll be there. And I, I will yeah, be I there. I think you'll yeah. be there both days. I'll be there for Saturday and probably part of Sunday. Oh, because that'll be the day you come back here. Yes. yes. Uh, for the uh, nib customization, grinding, and tuning, and the pen repair, there's no advanced reservations. But there's a new sign-up sheet every day. So you get okay, there and yep. you put your name on the list. Usual procedure. Uh, for each appointment, you can do one grind, but you're allowed up to two appointments per day. Yeah. Uh, so they'll work that out. Yeah, and, and it's just, just to keep it, you know. I should send a pen with you. I'm, I'm taking a nib, actually. Yeah. I have a just, nib that Just a nib? Be... Well, yes, just a nib. I have, a, I have an old um, Leroy Fairchild Falcon oh. dip pen nib Wow. that has a really nasty bend in it and... Uh, well, while I could do it, I, I don't want to do it. Yeah, no, it's, it's no, a that's, nice, nice nip. So yeah, that's perfect. Take that. Uh, we should get before and afters on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, speaking of Chicago, you'll be at the Chicago Pen Show for a couple of yes, days. Yes, yes, I am going uh, Thursday and Friday. That's the twenty eighth uh, and 29th. Twenty eighth so and twenty ninth. That's leading right up to the pen event. Yep, yep. So I'll be there for two days. Um, wish I could be there Saturday, but uh, I'd rather you know. You'd rather be in your own store. I'd rather be in my own yeah. store, yeah. So um, I'm not planned to have a table, uh, although that is somewhat 
up in the air uh, right now. So if I do go, I'll have only pretty much only vintage uh, pens, Japanese pens. Are you still talking about taking some of your own for show and tell? Yes, I will have some of my own for show and tell. Yep. yep. It's worth the price of admission right there, but only Thursday and Friday. Only Thursday and Friday. Yep. Or at Anderson Pen Chicago on yep. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, you got to go downtown then. Go downtown. Go downtown. So. Um, this coming Sunday, do you know what that is? This coming Sunday, no. First day of spring. Oh, yes. In the right. Northern Hemisphere. <clears throat> right. It is the first day of autumn for... That's why um, I'm wearing short sleeves. Yeah. For uh, our viewer Edward in New Zealand and everyone else in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, I'm looking forward to spring. Yes. We were going to go on a bike ride this past Sunday, and I woke up to three inches of snow. <laughs> you can't. You canceled it before I did. I think that's a I first. I never heard from you that day. <laughs> I went back to sleep. And speaking of Sunday, I almost called the police because uh, I was robbed. You were robbed? Yeah, someone stole an hour from me. I, I haven't been able to find it. <laughs> Even Justin laughed on that one. That's so stupid. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm recovered. Okay. But I wish they would just leave it here. Yeah. Just never change it again. Uh, YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Did you yes, know Yes, absolutely. Last Friday, we posted Lisa's top five under 200. Uh, so that mm -hmm. was good. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember what you picked, but I was there. And I've been told by uh, videography that tomorrow, Friday, we're posting Eric's top three under 50. I wonder what I chose. I wonder. You were there. Don't I you remember? Was, no, I don't remember. So that's tomorrow. Watch out for that. Oh, you want to... Two weeks left. Two weeks left. 20% uh, off all Faber-Castell pens and ink, bottled ink, uh, through the end of this month. Now, there was a rumor uh, that Faber-Castell might keep this up forever, but they haven't said that. They haven't said it. They're okay. they're exploring their options. Uh, right. This was a test for them. Yep. Uh, because many manufacturers provide an MSRP and allow you to give 20%. Maximum discount, yeah. But uh, Faber-Castell has always, always been, been less price. MSRP. Yep. So this was a test for them, and they have not yet said keep it up. Yeah. So, so there's still a lot of great, uh, you know, the ambition. What a super pen. We've we've sold a lot of those, um, but uh, ambition, the loom, uh, the emotion. Some really really great pens at 20 percent off. Normally, only get that sale. Yeah, they usually usually you know around Thanksgiving. Yeah, once a year sale. Mm -hmm. But this was uh, a special this surprise. Great. This is great. Yeah. Speaking of ink. Okay. My ink of the week was Airbon. Um, Violet Boreal. That's nice. A, a beautiful, beautiful. I like that. Uh, I'm going to call it a purple that leans a little violet. This was recommended uh, in my, when I asked for recommendations, mm -hmm. this was recommended by Marie Blauvelt, who was the one who said she bought the entire bottle. So okay. that was. That's always high. a good sign. Always That's a good a sign. a big bottle. Yeah. Now, yeah. this is not. My ink, this is a different one, but it comes in this mm -hmm. size bottle, which is a hefty bottle. Yeah. Very nice. It's bottle. sort of like the, what, what the new Sailor bottle has become. You know, a nice cube. Nice yeah. Cube, yeah. yeah. Maybe they're all going to go that way. But this beautiful bottle. Um, this particular it might be the somebody on my VIP list. <laughs> I should be. put them on the air. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> might, might be the purple I'm looking for. It's a violet purple. Okay. It's, I didn't see any real uh, shading or sheen, but it's very legible and it's a beautiful ink to look at. Great flow. There was no feathering, bleed. There was a little bit of show through, but only where a lot of ink hit the paper, like on my handprint. Mm -hmm. It was surprisingly easy to clean up. It does come in the 50 milliliter bottle, as I said, but we're selling samples too. Yes. Yeah, There's three samples, milliliter right samples. So uh, I really liked it. It might right, be the yeah, it's nice, uh, I still have many nice darker to, purple. Yeah. yeah. I have many, many more purples to check out, but as a starting point, everything will be compared to that. That's, that's a solid, solid choice. How do you deal with a fear of speed bumps? You slowly get over it. We got uh, a few things in this week. Yes. Since last week. Yep. I have one of them right here in front of me. Yes. You it is cool. the Penlux Masterpiece Grande Starry Night. And it's gorgeous. It is nice. I like the, uh, that one, that one there is particularly spectacular. They're all uh, different, right? They're all different, yep. Um, but it has this nice little yellow loop on this one. So uh, this marbling. Is, this it's is spiraling really details of black, blue, and yellow. This pen captures the essence of a starlit sky. Starry Night is the newest addition to the Penlux Masterpiece Grande series, well-liked for their oversized barrels and piston filling systems. Available with stainless steel nibs in fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub, 
also available with a 14 karat gold flex nib as a special order, or an 18 karat gold nib in fine or medium, also special order. These are nice piston and mechanisms too. I have to say it might be that we're sold out by the time this airs. It's quite possible. There will be more. Coming. I'm surprised I have one in my hand right now. Well, you don't have it in your hand. No, but It's in my hand. Amanda told me I'll give it to you, but I need to ship it as soon as you're done. Oh, okay. All right. So, and Steph has one. She's photographing it right now, but just a It's a nice piston mechanism. I, I, like, I like that the knob is, is longer. Yeah. So it's easier to grab. And it fits nicely. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good size pen. They, they just keep coming out with good, good patterns. Yeah. Yeah. That is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. So we weren't actually even expecting this this week. No, I wanted the, the, the Euripides, the, the, the Euploa. Euploa. Uh, it was supposed to come, or yeah, we they, thought it was going to come, and then these showed up, and we, everybody so was, was surprised. Surprise, so. But uh, I'm glad they showed up, because we've been waiting on the starry night. <clears throat> very pretty, very pretty. Without, uh, without being too in your face, you know. It's, I it's, thought this was going to be here, but it's not here yet. Okay. Because uh, uh, sales started yesterday, we can ship tomorrow. So it's got to come in today. Yes, yes. Uh, and that, I'm talking about the Twisby Swipe in pear green, which we talked about last week. But just as a reminder, we started selling it yesterday, and we can start shipping it tomorrow. Great. But you have this pen. I do have this pen. Monteverde Ritma Special Edition Carbon. Yeah, so this is the uh, the 2022 special edition of the year. So it's got this carbon. Uh, I guess it's probably a wrap over the over the barrel. And they say uh, the, the barrels are made of carbon fiber. There's a clear protective layer that gives the carbon fiber a texture that is soft to the touch. And I agree, it was soft to the touch. I don't know that there's a texture, but I don't feel it's good. very soft to the touch. Okay. It's so, so soft, you, so soft you can't. Okay, you can't, you can't feel, feel it. it. Gunmetal trim, magnetic yeah. cap, and magnetic posting. Yeah, that is that is that is super super cool. And it's available with a steel nib and extra fine fine medium broad or a one point one stub. And I think that's a very airtight cap there because listen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't think your nib's going to dry out in that. Yeah. That's. Yeah. It's just a and really it's, cool, it's, you know, it's a Yovo nib, so very it's, nice pen. I probably wouldn't post it. You would. Uh, I don't know. It's it, it, posted. It's maybe a, a, t a touch long. The, and, the barrel itself for me, it, is, it was a little heavy, but yeah. I do like that yeah. it's magnetic. Oh, that's it, it's very it. satisfying, isn't it? Yeah, this is a very nice pen and extremely affordable. Yep, yep. So a little bit more than the standard, but barely. But barely, yeah. Just so. a little bit. That's a nice, nice. It's a noisy pen. Yes, it is a noisy pen. <laughs> Justin's not going to like all the noises, but that's very nice. And yeah. I see a bottle of ink over there. You do? Yes, yeah. finally. Well, these are starting to trickle I, in. I have the box. You have the box. Um, we have uh, bling, they call it. Yes. Bling ink. And so you can see on the bottom the... Oh, uh, the, the shimmer The shimmer particles, particles yeah. So yeah. this is a shimmer ink. This uh, one is gray. I think it's 30 yes. milliliter glass bottle, uh, silver shimmer, fountain pen ink, free-flowing, easy-to-clean ink, that is a light shade of gray with silver shimmer particles. The vintage inspired bottle has a wide mouth with the popular bird's nest well on the side of the bottle. We'll show a picture of that because this yep. is a full bottle. You can't really see it. Yeah, yeah. The, when, the, when the bottle is full, it's... It's got a little cutout on the side yep. that they call a bird's nest. It's kind of It brings it. the ink up to the top of the bottle yep. so you can fill your... Well, in my case, my syringe. But yeah, it was, it was originally designed for the, the Schaefer snorkel because oh, the whole idea perfect. was with the snorkel is you, you don't ever get the, you know, the, the nib wet. Uh, so the snorkel tube would go in there and then you could get the last. And the snorkel tube is very much like yes. a syringe. Yeah. 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 So, so they're here now. I, I, I was actually pretty impressed with, uh, well, you know, we were, it's, it's a 30 mil bottle. And so we were thinking, OK, Monteverdi's that size. How are they going to do this with the well? Um, well, but, it's uh, bigger than I expected. Yes, it's it's because... it's a little more squat but wider, so it will. Um... Yeah, it's it's not the tiniest bottle. Uh, it looks nice. It's nice. I haven't seen the well myself uh, in person yes. because our bottle is it's full. Literally, yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah. We did open it. It's so full you can't see the well, but I like it. Yeah, and, and, and the, the bottle is the cap is nice and nice and tight, so it's got that nice little red. Yeah, they did a good job on that. Someone said it looked like a Canon. Uh, lens cap. Yeah, yeah, or Canon. I think it was Justin. Lens or something. But yeah, nice uh, nice bottle. So the new colors are coming in um, slowly. Slowly. Um, so, of course, the old 50 mil bottles uh, were are discontinued. Um, but we've Those got, were the squat ones. Yes, those little yes. Pyramid type shit. Yes. Yeah. And then they also came in those kind of, uh, the uh, kind of a chintzy, was a plastic box. But this is a nice. Uh, this is a nice box. Nice uh, box. It, it slides out. It. it it, it's very protective. 
feels good and the bottle fits in there so nicely. Yes. It yeah, it's in there really well. It almost seems like overkill. It's so nice. Yeah. But uh, I don't remember the price, but it's affordable ink. Yeah. This is affordable ink and good for any pen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh, standard uh, particle ink. Disclaimers. Disclaimer is yeah. what? Rinse um, your pen every once in a while? Yeah. If you're not going to use it, you know, you clean it out, but you also may have to, if it's, if it's been sitting on your desk, you do kind of need to. Lava lamp it. Lava lamp it, not martini. Not martini, lava yeah, lamp. Lava lamp. Just to kind of mix the particles around inside. Uh, Before you write. Yeah. Yep. So best best option, I suppose, would be even even nib up that way, at least anything in the feed. I don't think they down. can see what you're doing. Uh, just just to, just to nib up in a pen cup or something would probably even be better. I do have a pen cup. Yeah. I have two pen cups. So I can just put it in my pen cup. Yeah. And then. Because then you can, you, 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 can, you can still lava lamp it. but a nice texture. It yeah. is smooth. It's a smooth texture. Smooth texture. What state is known for its small drinks? Minnesota. Mr. Anderson. Yes. You were here last week and we did, a, we did a contest. And the week before. And the week before? No, you were in Chicago the week before. I don't can't keep it straight. Anyway, last week we started a contest survey type thing. Do you remember? Yep. Favorite movie. Yes. Uh, we have our answers. Okay, great. And I counted them all. We had sixty six total recommendations of movies. Okay. Only and uh, fifty eight of them were unique. So very few similar ones. But I can tell you the top. Okay. Uh, and in second place we had a tie. They each got three votes. Okay. Back to the Future, and that could be either the first movie or the okay, the okay. trilogy, got three votes. And Lord of the Rings got three votes. Yep, yep. But you mentioned a movie last week that you like. Shawshank. That was the winner. It got four votes, great, if we include yours. Great. Well, if yeah, we include you should, yours. Uh, my, my vote is not included? I guess for this, for this it's going to... You didn't leave a comment, so I did, it's... Oh, no, I'm not eligible for the $20 gift certificate. I'm not eligible for the $20 gift certificate. certificate. Um, but I did pull some comments uh, that I'll read here, and these are not necessarily movie related. Okay. Uh, they're mostly just uh, well, like this one. Stuart Riley says big thumbs up to Justin because we were celebrating nice. Justin's uh, award. Lisa DeGroff says congratulations, Justin. One more page says kudos to Justin on Justin on his award. May it be the first of many. I could go on and on. Beth Cunningham, congratulations to Justin on receiving a biffy. Marilyn Gardner says congratulations, congratulations to Justin. Fun fact about Beloit. Now, if you remember, Beloit is the, the Beloit. city where they have the. I'm sorry, what? Beloit International. The Beloit International Film Festival. Marilyn continues. Fun fact. About Beloit, I have been told that the locals say the name of their city sounds like a quarter falling into a toilet bowl. Beloit. I've tried to picture that in my mind. I haven't tried it with the toilet, but uh, I thought that was a fun fact. Your quarter. Yeah. Now, Your quarter. I have never been to Beloit. You ever been to Beloit? I probably I have no idea. Justin not, has been there. Not on purpose. Justin was there not to pick purpose. up his award. I'm going to have to, not on the air, but I'll ask him if he heard that. Is there a sign on the edge of town when you're driving it? Anyway, I have a winner, too. It's a quarter. It's not a nickel, not a dime, not a penny. Uh, Marilyn says quarter. Quarter, okay. But, uh, we what can try it. We can try it. <laughs> we'll make a recording. We have a winner okay, of last right. week's contest Thankfully. Um, for a $20 gift certificate to Anderson Pens, which is a credit to your Anderson Pens account. The winner, chosen at random, not because his name is Eric, is Eric, <laughs> Eric. Lineman or Lineman? Lineman yeah. My favorite movie is Barry Levinson's movie Diner. Diner. I have not seen it that I know of. I suppose it takes place in a diner, but I'm just guessing. Well, they had that one called Phone Booth, and it took place in a phone booth. <laughs> so the diner should be... Never mind. That's a good guess. Uh, Eric. Good guess. Uh, write to me at eric at andersonpens.com, and we'll take care of your $20 gift certificate. And now we have a, a new contest. Did you give me a suggestion for a new contest? We, we oh, talked yes, about you it. did, we, but did it's we? not something I can say on the air. <laughs> we can't say that on the air. Um, um, yeah, so we, I'm going to go with this it. one. Okay. Uh, I'm, well, you already had one. I had one, but... I. I I just like to, you know, ask you your opinion once in a while and then ignore it anyway. I gave you my opinion. <laughs> this week, to enter the $20 <laughs> random drawing for the, for the gift certificate credit to your account, just comment below here in YouTube, a YouTube comment below uh, for your best ink for spring. Because next week is spring. Yes. This Sunday is yes. spring. Totally and, exciting. And I have to, of course, change all the inks in my pens. No, no I don't I do just that. Put a good, I just put a good color ink in my pen, but it's not... 
springy. It is, I'm not sure it's springy, it's but springy it matches color. the pen. And the pen is springy. And the pen is springy. So yes. you've got a good spring yeah. ink. I don't know what ink I'm going to use for spring, if any, but I, I do like inks. And so we had such a great uh, response to help me choose a purple ink. Mm -hmm. Let's see what a spring ink is. Ooh, I, I imagine it's good. Which one? one? Go I've ahead. We can't get it anymore. Oh, then it's not very good for me. <laughs> well, it's not good for you. Buckle box, Norwegian wood. Oh, that was a good one. That's a beautiful. That was a good one. Hard to get even when you had it. Yes, yeah. yes. I have two bottles at home. I bet you do. It's the only ink I've ever... When I think of a spring ink, I usually think of uh, something, uh, the uh, cherry blossoms. So some sort of mm, pink. It's a core. Um, I can never read them uh, when I have them in a pen and I'm writing with them. Mm -hmm. I can never read what I've written. But uh, that is what I think of as a spring ink. So give us your recommendations and your thoughts. We're finally here, Brian. Yes. Do you know where? Anderson Pens. Anderson here. Pens, but <laughs> we're at Coming Soon. Oh, we're at Coming I've been waiting soon. for Coming Soon. First up uh, is the Seasonal Festival Series by Sailor. It's a mouthful. You want to say that? Seasonal Festival <laughs> See, Seasonal know. Festival Series by Sailor. Seasonal Festival Series by Sailor. I love that name. Ten times. Okay. Uh, these are um, Pro Gear Slim fountain pens. Every single one of them is yep. Pro Gear Slim. And Sailor says, to revel in some of Japan's traditional celebrations with the Seasonal Festival series by Sailor. Each fountain pen in this series was designed in honor of one of the five seasonal festivals that take place in Japan each year. Japan, where Brian Anderson has been. First up <laughs> is the Seri, designed in a gentle green to represent the Jinjitsu Festival, which focuses on good health in the coming year. I'll take that pen. Next, there is the Momo, a pastel pink to go along with the Joshi Festival that celebrates good health and growth for girls. A deep gray blue pen, the Koi, goes along with the Tango Festival, which celebrates good health and growth for boys. Then a brighter teal pastel pen called Sasa represents the Tanabata Festival that centers on wishing for dreams to come true. I'll Ooh, take that one like too. That. Finally, there is Kiku, a soft coral that parallels the Choyo Festival, a celebration of long life. Each pen in the Seasonal Festival series by Sailor is presented in an elegant set that is carefully packaged to include a matching color ink from the Sailor Shikiori Four Seasons Ink series. All fountain pens in this series come with gold trim and a 14 karat gold nib in fine, medium fine, or medium. They're due to arrive, do you know when? Late April. Late April. So a month and a half. Very month and a half. soon. And they're very soon. Yes, that is soon for you. I like the way they look. They're nice. They're, they're nice. They look matte to me. Yes. I've seen only the pictures, of course. Yes. We don't have them in our hands yet. Um, but I like the stories behind them. That, yeah. that does help sell the pens. Yep. I, uh, long life, dreams come true. Yeah, I need those it's, in my life. Absolutely. I need those in my life. And they come in the box. It's just nice. It's nice packaging. And comes ink. with nice matching ink. matching bottle nice. of Ink Studio. Is yeah. it a bottle? Yeah. Okay. I was going to turn back. I don't have that information. Good thing you're here. Next pen. Pelican M800. Uh -huh. Black and red with gold trim. Coming back. Second largest of the uh, Pelican Sovereign series. The M800 sports a uh, body of red and black uh, striped celluloid acetate, a uh, black cap, piston filling mechanism, which we all love, gold plated trim, and 18 karat bicolor gold nib in extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. And these have already been ordered. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm debating one of these for maybe my birthday in the summer. M800 is my favorite yeah. size. I never owned one. Oh, well. And it's not too. It's just, it's not too such wide. a beautiful size. It's not too big. Right. It's not... The M1000 is much larger, uh, but it's a little too large mm -hmm. for something I would use every day. Uh, this is the, the M846 of... Yeah, it's the 146 of Pelican. Sailor uh, Lodge. It's, it's the perfect okay. size. And do you remember what my favorite thing is about Pelican? Would it be the nib? It's you the can nib. unscrew the you nib. Can unscrew the nib. Put a little nib. silicone grease on there. Well, I unscrew it, and then I clean the pen. Yeah. And then I clean the nib. And before I put the nib back, I put the little grease on it and put it back. I did that... Just yesterday. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. Because that's one of my favorite things. But Way faster than... 
Yes, then right you know, before, you? with the usual piston filler, it's many, many times yes. of flushing it. I just take the nib out. If the nib comes out, just take it out. Yep. And so Pelican makes that very, very easy. And I usually bring that up. Have you noticed? Every time, yeah. every time. But we're glad to have the M800 in uh, red black coming back. So that's yeah. exciting. Yeah. exciting. When will it be here? Soon. Soon. <laughs> Why don't you take these? Uh, new Roshizuka inks. Oh, really? So um, Pilot is uh, launching three new uh, to replace the three that are going out. Uh, fountain pen ink colors uh, for 2022. These gorgeous inks have been inspired by beautiful Japanese environments. The Hana Ikata, uh, a flower raft of Japanese cherry inspired by beautiful cherry blossoms collecting gracefully atop a flowing river. This is a gorgeous rich pink hue. There's uh, Hotaru B, the light of the fireflies. Inspired by the soft light of delicate fireflies, this color is a bright chartreuse green with warm yellow hues. And Sui Gyoku, uh, which is an emerald and inspired by the deep green shine found in an emerald gemstone. I do want to say you did a great job with those names. I did my best. <laughs> and uh, we didn't practice this before. No, I, I just threw well, this in front of you and yeah, very good, very good. So, the Subi Gyoku looks interesting. Right? Do they no. usually come out with three new ones every year and no. retire three? No. Because this is the first, this is the first time in a long time we've, that they've come out with new ones. Outside of the 100th anniversary. I don't know yeah. which ones are retiring, do you? Uh, Inaho, there's three of them. There's three of them. But So three are going so away and these... these uh, new interesting colors uh, will be here when? Soon. Soon. Okay. They're ordered. They're. Oh, I think they're. I think they're coming on the this month. Yeah. Oh, cool. 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 I. I did. I let you do that one because I wanted to talk about the. You next want to talk one. about this I want one. to talk right, about right. the Sailor Pro Gear Pen of the Year 2022 Soda Pop Blue. This is cool. I haven't it's seen cool. it in real life, it but good. the it pictures. Oh my! This. Sparkling blue pen features a whimsical translucent topaz color with silver glitter suspended throughout the body and cap. Does it have my name on it's, it or does it have my name on it's, it? It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> the gold details absolutely gleam, making this pen the next pop star in your collection. They come in Pro Gear Standard and Pro Gear Slim. This bicolor solid gold nib, uh, 14 karat for the Pro Gear Slim, 21 karat for the Pro Gear Standard. The nib, si nib size is available, extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium, broad, zoom, and music. All seven. 2022 is engraved on the cap band. It's a limited edition, and it is a North American exclusive. And I don't know if you know it, but I am looking for a Sailor extra fine nib. And it's available on this. It's available on this, but this is this has gold trim. I, I, I might it's a have, flat top. I might have to overlook both those things because pretty it's pretty a soon that rule is not really going to exist. gold translucent topaz color with silver glitter suspended throughout. I know, but it's gold trim. Are you just going to give me a credit card? Take my Thank money. <laughs> I have to see it. Because, yes, it is a flat top. I can live with that. And gold. You've seen me buy I have. pens with gold furniture but, but, but pretty soon it's gonna. It's not going to be the I know It's just a preference. Just a it's preference. Okay. Just a preference. Right. Right. If this were it a 1911 nice. large yeah. with a silver color, yeah, then, yeah, then, then I'd be, have to buy it before be it got here. I would, I'd love that. I, I could not find when they might be here. Uh, I don't know. Soon. Yeah, soon. We'll soon. just have to say soon. Soon, you, soon usually means within the next six weeks. Two to six weeks. Oh, do you suppose they're already in the States? Uh, I think, I can't remember if these are shipping or not. Okay, so that might be really soon. It might be really soon. Uh, yeah. But you should sign up for back-in-stock notifications on our website so that you're the first to know. I think they're going to go, like, I, fast. I, I think so, yeah. Uh, especially if you're looking for a particular nib. because These you're... are the bicolor, too, which is nice yeah, to have that, that two-tone effect. Beautiful nibs. Especially on the, the Slims, not, not as common. Well, it has been more over the years, but... Yeah, see, Eleanor and I were in Chicago. We went to AP Chicago, mm -hmm. and we got to play with the tester set, which is the first time I remember using an extra fine Sailor nib, and it's just fantastic. It is a, it's just a good fantastic. extra fine, yeah. If, so, if, if you like extra fine, that's a really yeah, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Idea. So I was hoping they'd come up with... Many times they don't offer the extra fine. Uh, the, the, on some of the, the specialty uh, seasonal things. festival yeah, series yeah. by sailor is yeah. fine medium whatever i said fine, but it was an extra yeah. fine uh so i've been looking for an extra fine and look what presents yeah. itself now i should say on the uh the festival series those using the single tone nib uh if there is a nib option you would like that's not those three just give us a oh, call easier to swap and we'll see if we'll see if we've got one and we can uh, we can make that oh, happen sorry you. I'm, you could get an extra fine on one of those fine, i could get you one of each probably it's a slim 
See, I'd have to go with yeah, the full it is size a slim, then. It is a slim. I'd have to go with the full. If I had a druther, I'd go with the full size. Okay. Well, I would. 1911. But if I had to go with Pro Gear, I'd go with the full size. Yeah, let's start with that. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out online, no, on social media as Anderson Pens. Do you have a store in Chicago? We do have a store in Chicago. It's a ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. We're open seven days a week. You're going to see our, my beautiful bride, Lisa, there. Um, uh, is there a website for it? Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.